Hey guys, it's Coach Steve, and I've got this week's workout brief. Starting on Monday, we're going to start a new squat cycle, and this one's going to be back squats. So this first week, we're going to build to something that is heavy for you for three reps. And this is going to be something we want to spend a little bit of time on to make sure we get a good, solid number, something that's really going to challenge you, because we're going to use that number going forward, just like we did in the front squats. We're going to use percentages going forward to help us build that load that we can handle so that we're stronger by the end of the cycle. Once we're done with this, that we're going to go into a 24 minute AMRAP with running, goblet lunges, sit ups, and push ups. 24 minutes is a long workout. So, this is one of those you want to kind of hold back, especially on that run. That run is long enough that if you go out too hot, you're not going to be able to continue through this. So, great chance to practice your pacing. 24 minutes is a long workout. So, keep that in mind. Um, you probably will hit a bit of a wall at some point during this one. On Tuesday, we're going to start off playing with clean and jerks. This is more of a skill session than a strength session. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind as we're going through. We're going to build to a moderate heavy uh, three reps on the clean and jerk. And this is practice. So we want to make sure you're using your hips, staying nice and tight in your core, um, doing those basics really well so it translates to a safe and effective movement. Once we're done with that, we're going into a 15 minute AMRAP with double unders and dumbbell clean and jerk. The dumbbell clean and jerks are gonna build on what we did during the skill session, but with the dumbbell stability through the shoulders are even more important. So just kind of keep that in mind that you wanna make sure you're doing all of those same things plus a little bit with this workout. Um, trying to get for higher rounds here, both of these movements should go at a pretty good clip chunking off large amounts at a time before you take a break. On Wednesday, we're going to continue playing with some handstand push-ups. This, this time it's a six-round EMOM of handstand push-ups, shooting for consistent numbers every single minute, um, really making it so that you don't fall off of this. If you're able to do strict handstand push-ups, that is the preference. Kipping is not really the best place to go with these. I want to make sure everybody's getting that requisite strength so that handstand push-ups get much better and easier for you. Once we're done with that, we're going into an 18-minute AMRAP with box jumps, push press, and toes to wire. And this one's kind of, kind of interesting in that each one of these movements kind of take away from the next movement. The box jumps are all about breathing and hips, which the breathing and hips are used in the push press pushing that bar overhead. And then we go into toes to bar, which is using both of those and then really taxing our core, which is gonna have an effect on all of those other ones. So every time you do a round, it's going to get a little bit harder. Now, the big thing here is scale pretty aggressively. Higher rounds of this is gonna have a bigger impact on you than lower rounds. Obviously you don't want it to be just so easy, it doesn't matter. But if you're kind of on the on the fence, should I do this or should I do that? Go with the easier one. Um, that way you can move consistently for the 18 minutes, move well, and move with some intensity. On Thursday, we're going to start off by practicing some overhead squats because they are hard. And then we're going into a 10-minute workout where we're going to build reps every round, starting off with three burpees, three deadlifts, three overhead squats. The overhead squats and the, bur and the deadlifts are with the same bar. Then you go six reps of all three movements, nine reps of all three movements. So you're going to continue adding three reps every round until time is called. Once we're done with that, we're going to do our bar, our uh, curl and tricep uh, cash out. This time it's going to be barbell, barbell uh, curls um, and skull crushers. Doing this the same number of reps every time, 12 reps and really focusing on squeezing those muscles every single rep. A lot of weight is not needed for this one. On Friday, we're gonna go right into the workout. Uh, it's three rounds, 600 meter run, 30 kettlebell swings, 30 push-ups. Pretty simple, nothing crazy, um, just good, consistent fitness kind of work here. The goal here is 14 to 17 minutes with a 19 minute cap. Um, Reps are a little bit high, so just kind of keep in mind on those push-ups. You probably want to break those up before you go to failure. 
Um, and then the running, just kind of find that right pace. It's only three rounds through this, so it's not going to be the longest run in the world, but you want to stay consistent here. Once we're done with that, we're going into an eight round cash out of 100 meter sprints. I want you generally fully recovered between rounds. So this will be at your own pace. Don't take much more than three minutes per. Um, it just takes too long in that case. But um, definitely want to be able to run this really hard. On Saturday, we're going into a very long, arduous type of workout. Five rounds, 50 double unders, 35 knees to elbows, and then a walk with a barbell overhead. Um, the barbell overhead should be moderately weight. You should be able to control this, but it's really going to cause you to brace your core, which is really hard after you've done 35 knees to elbows for four rounds. So this, the, really the crux of this is this is going to be a core workout coming from three different movements. Um, it won't feel like it in the time. You're just going to feel everything, your hands, your shoulders, everything's going to be fatigued. But what you're really going to feel coming out of this is that core. Um, goal here is 22 to 27 minutes with a 29 minute cap. And just be cautious with this one. Once your core breaks down, that overhead walk can get very hard. Um, and if you're not careful, it can be um can be something that can hurt you if you're not braced well. So make sure you're using the right weights and still staying focused. That overhead walk, by the way, should be done outside. Um, load the plates up outside, go overhead, and do a 20-minute walk outside where it's safe. That's what we have coming up this week, guys. Look forward to seeing you in the gym. Bye.